Good morning, folks. This is Todd Coburn of Cal Poly Pomona. And we're, today we're going to continue our study into aerospace structures. In order to be successful at this class, it's important that you already took and passed an undergraduate statics course for Cal Poly Pomona. That's Aero 3261. This class has the fundamentals of summing loads, equilibrium, things like this. It also wouldn't hurt if you've already taken dynamics, although that's not required. Today we're going to be starting into Aero 3261. Aero 3261 is a structural mechanics course that is similar to many courses taught in nearly every undergraduate program for mechanical, aerospace, and civil engineering. Now these courses generally focus on the fundamentals and they usually have very little, if any, aerospace terminology and <clears throat> uh, some of the basic building blocks of analysis that we use in aerospace. In this course, <clears throat> I have added that nomenclature and those techniques so that from the very first moment of this course, you're gonna to begin to be getting an aerospace perspective on structure, how structures are evaluated and assessed. In order to do this, you're gonna to have to pay close attention and hold tight to your seats because we're gonna be moving very fast. If you blink, nap, go on a date, or get distracted, you're gonna fall behind and you probably will not catch up. So, do yourself a favor and decide today whether or not you want this class and what you're willing to do to succeed. If you're not sure you want it, drop the class, focus on something else until you change your mind. If you really conclude that you want to learn and you're willing to do the work, then welcome aboard. What we're going to do is we're going to start by evaluating some of the building blocks of analysis of aerospace structures. This is assuming we've already learned how to calculate what the loads are and to do free body diagrams, shear and moment diagrams for beams, equilibrium, equivalent force systems, and reactive force systems, act, action reaction pairs, and equivalent force systems. This is critical. We're going to build on this. We're going to learn about stress, which is a force intensity, force over area. A large member can take a lot of stress. A smaller member can't take so much. These are the concepts we're going to learn. We're going to learn how to do that in a basic technique, like a P over A kind of number. We're going to learn about bending, MC over I, shear, and more complicated techniques. I'm going to introduce you to the nomenclature, and I'm going to expect you to know that aerospace nomenclature. I'm going to expect, uh, introduce you to where to get the properties for these sections and how to evaluate the strength of these materials, and then how to evaluate your stresses that you calculate to the strength so that you can evaluate an appropriate evaluation of the strength of the structure. We call that the margin of safety, how close it is to failure. These concepts are critical. We're also going to learn some higher techniques. You're going to need to pay attention, do the work, and then do your best to, ref to show me that you understand the material. Welcome aboard. See you in a moment.